Hey folks, welcome back to our Dice Tower preview. I'm Mark, and today we have a very special game. It is a digital game, a social deduction game, The Republic of Jungle. The Republic of Jungle is brought to you by Gerdu Games. It's for five to 10 players, and games run anywhere from 10 to 60 minutes. So you will play as the staff of President Puma, who's under political pressure and needs a number of confidential tasks delivered. The players are divided into two teams, as you'd expect, the Loyalists and the Leakers. The Loyalists try to help the President by recommending and voting for task forces, showing their loyalty to the President. Leakers try to pose as Loyalists, eager to earn trust and get into a task force, only so they can leak confidential information. There are roles on both teams that give each side special abilities and strategies. And there are secret powers that can turn the tide at any moment. Like any good social deduction game, you will bluff, betray, confide, and conspire in a crossover between Jackbox and social deduction games. You can really see how they were inspired by games like The Resistance, Avalon, and so many others. So let's jump over to the JBC for some breaking news. Yet another leak from the Bite House today shows how unpopular President Puma is among his own staff. Puma says he will sniff them out, but apparently he has lost his sense of smell. Join me tonight for an intriguing story which is really for pure entertainment and massive ad revenue, but we'll pretend we care. You do too. This is Fiona Fox from JBC News. We'll be back after the commercials. Oh, things look dire for the president. Okay, so that's basically how you play the game. So I'm not gonna do a deep dive into gameplay. There's tons of videos out there already for that. Definitely go check them out. But the game is intuitive and easy to get into. But instead, let me highlight a few things for you. A key feature of the game, the players will use their personal devices. Yes, you will use your mobile device to connect to the game simply using a browser. So no app is gonna be required giving you the ability to play in a room with all your family and friends, keeping everything secret and just for you to see, or with friends across the country. And there's so many options here on how to play this game. So yes, this is a digital game. It's not a board game on the table, but set up and getting into the game is quick and easy. You're given a code and you go to the website and join. The main screen makes it really easy to track what's going on in the game, showing you the current vote and what just happened. And your device shows you information just for you. And there's so many secrets. And it allows you to essentially take notes, keeping track of who is on one side or the other. The user interface is very streamlined and easy to use. And there's a private guidebook. So any questions about how the game plays can be referenced here on your device without giving anything away to the other players. Very handy, especially for those new players. So again, some of the core mechanics here are inspired by the resistance. But regardless if you are familiar with the game or not, Republic of Jungle is easy to pick up and engage with. Obviously, there is more to it here, and being that it's digital and the fact that everyone has their own private device to view information on gives the game that ability to do things beyond what a card game can offer, like special powers, secretly assigning these powers to certain players, and in an interesting twist, you have the ability to perform a double vote, but only once per game. All of these things add a quick, streamlined gaming experience. Now remember, the thing you're doing in this game is voting on a task force and trying to figure out who's leaking information. So as an example, let's take a closer look at the double vote. Simple concept, yes, and anyone would quickly understand how it works. So let's see what kind of gameplay emerges from it. The chart in the middle is showing the vote result and it shows one positive double vote, the yellow plus one. This means one of the players who upvoted, Michael, Dwight, or Kevin, used a double vote, but no one knows who exactly. Well, except for the player that used it, of course. So whoever did use the double vote has read the game and other players, and they had a guess that there might be a split opinion and used their conviction to make a difference in the result. So many paths can emerge from this, giving players an incentive to pay more attention and get rewarded for it. And of course, there are all kinds of trade-offs here as well. You could potentially expose yourself or even waste your double vote. And if anyone was to vocally communicate this, it would signal to the other team. So try not to give too much information away. So many fun possibilities and moments can emerge from this one simple mechanic. And that's what I love about games like this, be it Werewolf, 
Don't Mess With Cthulhu, or again, The Resistance. The stories that emerge from a game night like this can be very memorable. So winning and losing. If three of the task force missions fail, leakers win the game. But if three missions are success, then the loyalists win the game. Whose side are you on? And will you be able to bluff your way to the win? And we are back. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview. And everything you've seen here is in beta form. Yes, this is software, so it's beta. So the thing about this game is that it is straight up that social deduction type of game, if you like that. And the way it handles it, it's super streamlined, how you use your device combined with what's on the screen and so forth. And the fact that you can incorporate people from all over the world to play with you at the same time as even people in the same room with you. I love that there's so many options, of ways to play this and stream it. So lots of options and lots of fun to be had too. And a special note to their like learning the game, you know, there's a single player experience just to teach you the basics. And they really did a phenomenal job showing you kind of those basic roots of how a social deduction game works and what you can do on your turn and so forth. And of course, there's all kinds of powers that we didn't dive into and all different kinds of roles and how those can potentially play into expanding the game and making it just another level better. And another nice feature here is the fact that if you pledge on the campaign, as soon as the campaign ends, they're gonna give people beta access to the game. So you can get in right away. But folks, ultimately, if this looks like something that would be of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me, and until next time, we'll see you at the table.